Hey, I just wanted to address this idea of detox till death, right? Somebody had commented on my on my last video asking me if I was still in the detox till death cult. So I, I just find it kind of funny that a lot of these people who sort of poo-poo on the idea of detoxification will openly acknowledge that toxins exist in the environment, right? Especially in the natural health in the natural health world, right? There's a lot of people advocating against vaccines. Why? Because they're toxic. There's a lot of people advocating for organic foods. Why? Because, you know, foods food sprayed with toxic pesticides are toxic. Uh, people buy water filters and air purification systems, right, to get toxins out of the out of the environment, out of their drinking water, whatever. So that their bodies aren't exposed to them or that they don't ingest them. The idea of toxicity is openly acknowledged in the natural health field, right? Even in even in the even in orthodoxy, so to speak, right? Even in the mainstream, toxicity is something that's openly addressed. And yet the idea of detoxification, the idea of the removal of these toxins from the body is sort of sneered at, right? Now, that's not to say that there doesn't need to be some semblance of balance, right? That's something that I've always recommended quite clearly on this channel, and it was part of the reason why I took my dry fast, some of my dry fast, my older ones, some of my dry fasting videos down, was because I didn't want people to get the wrong idea, because I understand, you know, some people are impressionable and whatever, that I, when I did my first long dry fast, that was seven days, I broke it on the eighth day, I got pretty, I got pretty thin, you know, pretty damn thin, and even though I may have looked a certain way, I may have looked like hell on the surface, right, surface appearances are just surface appearances, I knew that my body could handle what I was what I was putting it through. And all my strength, all the weight, well not all the weight, but you know, all the strength and, and the vigor and everything came back after the fast and it came it comes back stronger. And people who have any experience, any you know, relevant experience with fasting, more often than not are gonna say that. Say the same thing, that all their health, their strength, their vitality, their fitness, everything comes back and usually stronger. So, yes, balance needs to be maintained. We see examples of that all over the internet where people sort of get out of balance. They, they become sort of obsessed with this idea of detoxification and cleansing and purity. Um, but that's not something that I ever recommended or advocated, right? I always said, do what you feel inclined to do. Do you, right? Do your thing. I did my thing. I'm doing my thing on my channel. So that goes for anybody else. You know, if you don't like the way that I'm doing things here. You don't like the way my shit stinks. Go go sniff someone else's shit. Plain and simple. <laughs> so do you do what you got to do, and do what you feel inclined to do. End of the day, what do you feel inclined to do? What do you feel impelled towards? What ignites your passion? Whatever, and uh, and do that. Pursue that. At the time, when I first got into dry fasting, I was really excited about it because I had never experienced anything that had given me the results as as rapidly as I was getting them. And so I got pretty enthusiastic about it. I got really enthusiastic about it. I just dove in head first. And I knew that there was there was really there was really something to it. I watched a Dr. Morse video with this this woman uh, Hill Hild Larson, I believe her name is, and she had she had been speaking about some of her experiences with dry fasting and I just figured well I'll try it and I tried it the first dry fast I did I think was about two and a half days something like that I broke it on the third day and yeah I, I immediately while I was doing the fast while I uh, after I broke the fast I felt you know I felt it I, I really did I was really pleased I was really uh, surprised, pleasantly surprised with what I felt. And from then on, I knew that there was definitely something to it. Now, there's people, you know, you do have the, the, the unfortunate side of things, like Robert. what happened with Robert Lockhart, where he was fasting for a while. He, he was apparently undergoing some dry fasting. He was hospitalized. 
and was put on some medications, I believe antibiotics, and then he died in the hospital. Some people say, oh, well, it was the antibiotics that killed him. Some people say, well, it was the dry fasting that killed him. Well, it was probably probably some combination of both. Um, some people push, push things further than what they should go. Um, I don't think... I don't think you could use exam. You should be people should be using examples like that to just completely throw the baby out with the bathwater, so to speak, and say that well, dry fasting is bad because somebody died dry fasting. Um, now that being said, regarding Robert Lockhart, he was a very good man who I had the good fortune of meeting back in I believe it was 2012. I always feel very fortunate to meet uh, kindly kindred spirits, if you will. Uh, he was a, he was a good man, from what I can tell, and it's just a, a shame what happened. But to just say that, well, you should we should just poo poo fasting or dry fasting or whatever, and it's it just I don't know it's it's just pretty retarded how people can use you know tragedy like that as a means to. You know, push their push their opinions on other people. It, it's pretty pathetic, actually. So, bottom line: walk with balance. Do what you want to do. Do you do what you feel impelled towards? Balance is an individual thing. Balance is an individual matter. So, what is balance for me is not going to be balance for somebody else. It's not going to be balance for probably anybody else. Everybody's concept of and practice of balance in their day to day life is going to look different. It's just how it is. And again, I come back to honoring and respecting individuality, the individual, on their experience, their journeys, their observations, right? Observe. I always come back to observation too. Observe, right? You have eyes to see and ears to hear. Look around. Observe. Stop thinking so damn much. It's the damn problem with everything. You think too much, you can become... You can become you're opening yourself up to suggestion from outside influences I'll say but when you're just observing you you're kind of it's like that whole idea of the being the fly on the wall right you just you learn to observe you're not for or against you're just observing there's a lot of power in that sort of in that sort of uh state if you will so that's all that's all for now just wanted to address that Hope the trust this finds you well. If you care to give any thoughts, write them down in the comments below, and I will talk to you next time. Peace. Take care, guys.